What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to prevent the downloading terrain screen before you load into a game from freezing and crashing on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, make sure that your Java version is up to date. Click on the link in the description to visit this page. Here, select to download the free 64-bit Java update, which should be installed to your system when trying to play the Minecraft Java edition. When this is done, you should disable any high-resolution texture packs, shaders, plugins and mods which you have recently installed to the game. In most cases, different textures are the reason why Minecraft is unable to load the game world. In the main menu of the game, select Options and, under Resource Packs, make sure to set it to default. Next, make sure to reduce your render distance in your video settings. This tweaks helps a lot of users who have a limited amount of RAM allocated to the game. When this is done, and the problem persists, then you might be using corrupted game files. Close the game, and in your taskbar search enter percentage app data percentage and hit enter. In this folder, navigate to Minecraft, and make sure to back up your saves. These contain all of the worlds which are saved locally. After making sure to save these files, you will have to delete this folder. And after opening up the Minecraft launcher, the game will re-download all of the needed files to properly run the game. Lastly, you should also make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. In case you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, then I suggest using the GeForce Experience application. Otherwise, you can also use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download, and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. You can close this window and search for Update in your taskbar search to open up your Check for Updates system settings window. Here, make sure to download the latest update and restart your PC to install it. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.